previously. And now we continue. Hey, Crystal Weirdos! Hey, welcome back to our Final Fantasy Studio NT! Alright, so, after a whole other batch of gauntlet after gauntlet fights, we finally got seven memory. So now we continue off the story. So we're gonna view this cutscene, do this battle, do that cutscene, and then do this battle, this cutscene, and then if we have time, we're definitely gonna be viewing. Oh my god, we're definitely gonna be viewing this cutscene and possibly doing two more battles. Whew! Alright! So the last part we met, uh, basically who this person who isn't Cosmos. We're like, wait a minute, you're not Cosmos, but then you are Cosmos. They meet somebody who's Chaos, but then it's not Chaos. It's very, very in the same fashion of Final Fantasy confusingness. So, so without any further ado, let's continue on our way, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that cool little bell thing on the side. So I can stay up there and all the cool Final Fantasy stuff that's happening on my channel. And let's do this. So, Cloud, we meet again. Cloud? What the blazes? Wait, that is your name, right? Cloud? Like puffs in the sky? So you remember me. Then you know what's going on. We're back here again? You, what is the meaning of this? I'm trying something. Just humor me. Oh, fuck. Are we about to fight Sephiroth? Are we about to fight, baby? Attempt? To <laughs> like, it was an attempt. Like, not even, like, complete, not fight. It's just attempt. 
attempt to fight Sephiroth. So here's the thing, guys. I basically maxed out Cloud. Like, I got Cloud to level 10, which is currently my max level. I maxed him out. I got his alternate costume and his alternate weapon. I'm not sure. Oh, the all oh, you can. Okay, so I can change to HP attacks. I got locked all of them. Cross Flash, Gear Range, I got locked a Mommy Flash. I unlocked all of them, so I can't change their outfits or, like, weapons. But I can change the HP attacks if I have them. Okay. So I really don't need bars. I really don't, but... I think I unlocked one for Marks too. Yeah, Geomancer. I unlocked Geomancer for Marks. So let's see what Geomancer is. All right, let's go. Let's go. Kick Steph off his ass. Let's go. Oh, Bahamas. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting anxious. The name's Bart. The name's Cloud. I don't really, I don't really need you, Marks, but you know what? Ugh, whatever. Octa Slash. Oh, I'm targeting Steph for sure. I'll take care of that one. Take care of four. Death is too kind for them. Oh, Sephiroth. Guess working with others can't hurt. Yes, guess working with others can't hurt. I mean, I, I, would, I would enjoy, like, Zidon or, like, Squall. You know, somebody knows who the, what the fuck they're doing. But you know what? I'll take Bart. Oh, come on, Bart. Sephiroth is my prey. Not going anywhere, Sephiroth. There we go. Ready? A mighty slash! Take that! Sure was it was something! It was a body slash! Oh, no, he's going for the summon! Poison the gun! Ugh! Sephiroth, yeah, escaping me! Huh? Slow a gun! That again? Take that! Ugh. Oh crap! Uh, charge up! Ugh. Ah! Ugh. Look! Right. Whoops. Luckily, my slash. They're asking a double kill. <laughs> this is why I love Cloud. This is exactly why I love Cloud. Double kill for the win. You put up a decent fight. You put that uh, no, out. That was a fight, Cloud. The slaughter. There's a difference between a fight and a slaughter. How did that? Look at four points. Sephiroth got four points. Oh, that was just, oh, that was embarrassing. That was just. I got more memorials? Ooh. And I got treasure! Ooh, yes, thank you very much. Mimic? Copy some buffs affected by a target. Ooh. I mean, that can be helpful. That was a slaughter, I guess. I kind of want to see what happens next. So far, I have to be like, hmm. Commendable. Vile designs. Huh. That's commendable. But I'm afraid it must end here. What are you scheming, Sephiroth? <laughs> That's for me to know. Trust me, you'll like it. What did you do? Don't you worry. Eventually, our goals will align. <laughs> and when they do, we shall meet once again. Let's get out of here. This place is going to crumble. Sure. They'll all be glad to. Nani? The fuck? Okay, so let's unlock this first. Let's un yeah, let's unlock that. Ooh, ooh, no battle in the fight. But nah, nah, nah. We have this one. Don't forget, come on, we got this one. We got this fight. The cutscene, I think. We're going to call that apart. 
And then we're gonna start off from the bottom, guys. Alright, so, you know what? No, how about this? We're gonna view this cutscene at the bottom real quick. And then start the fight. How about that? Yeah, we're gonna start view, again, view this cutscene. Then start the fight at the top. And then view that cutscene. And then we're gonna call it apart. Our questions are many. One thing, however, is clear. Materia requires our strength to achieve her objective. Then she shall have it. For now, anyway. Wait, for now? As he said, there's much we don't know. Is there now? We would do well to move forward with caution. Regardless, action shall prove more fruitful than idleness. Materia didn't seem to know too much about us. She didn't even seem to know too much about her world, come to think of it. Nor did the two gods seem to know each other. Maybe Spiritus isn't our enemy after all. Maybe not. We need to find out what we're dealing with here. I think I can help with that. You can, huh? Yes. I sense the espers of this realm. They might be able to teach us about Spiritus and Materia. You're going after them, aren't you? That's where you're headed. Whatever. Hmm? Go on, keep making that face. It'll get stuck that way. <sighs> then let us come along so it doesn't. <laughs> Squall, stop, stop trying to be clap. Okay, Squall. Stop, stop trying to be the cloud. Stop. You are not cloud, Squall. Remember that. You are not cloud. You are not that level yet. Oh, oh, so I'm playing, playing with the Don. Not the Don. Look, look, look. Yo, shut up, look, look. Vaughn and Onion Knight. Well, I'm not really that big of a fan of Vaughn. Like, he look, he look good character, but like, eh. Onion Knight. I can't, I can't use Onion Knight better than Vaughn anyway. So, Blade Tori. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so I unlocked his second. I, I don't think I unlocked. Oh, Power Class. What? Okay, so Power Class and my. You know what? You know what? Uh, uh, did I get. Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. Oh, pff, I, totally, I totally forgot. Yeah, so you know what? Let me. Let me play a Vaughn. Yeah, let me play a Vaughn. I'm not really a big of a fan of Vaughn, but I do like Power Class. I really do like his moveset. Let's go. Your allies have assembled, Koopa. Hey, glad to, glad to meet you. Like, I, I'm not really a big fan of Vaughn. Like, if I had to pick, like, any Final Fantasy characters, Vaughn really wouldn't be on my list. <laughs> he really wouldn't be on my list of characters I really like. I say that, I don't know. I think, like, when it comes to, like, the 10 and up, favorite hey, Final Fantasy main character, Gabi Noctis from 10 and up. Okay, then. 10 and Time down. Um, yeah, definitely Cloud. <laughs> like, definitely Cloud. Ugh, yeah. Ugh, because I really miss Vaughn, like, the old Vaughn from the old city. Like, he was a much more interesting character than this. Because here, you only have the sword. If you here, you only have the sword. Like, you have the sword, all that. You have sword, you have magic, pretty much it. But the old city, he was a wild He was kind of like Bart, where right? he was a wild card. He had like he had guns, he had bolts, he had staff, mace, like he had all the weapons from from twelve. And I kind of like that because you know, like Cecil, he uses a sword. That's reasonable because in Final Fantasy IV, the only weapons that were really wielded was swords. Oh damn it! Ah. Same thing with Furion, you know, he wields a wide variety of weapons, just like in the uh, just like in Final Fantasy II, where Furion wielded a wide variety of weapons. Just like in well, Cloud wields a butter sword. Same thing here. Cloud with the sword, just like he does in Seven. No, Seven, he wields a sword only if, like, he doesn't wield, like, he doesn't wield a spear, or he doesn't wield, like, you know, a gatling gun for an arm. No, he has a fucking. He, ha he has the butter sword, and that's the weapon he uses. Bomb was the same way. In 12, you didn't have to use a sword. Like, you didn't have to have Bomb with the sword. You could have made him have a gun. You could have made him have, like, all those things. And that's what they did in other studio. Where he was like a wild card, kind of like Furion and Bart. But he really just took that out. He was like, oh, here's the sword, that's it. You show promise. 
fight us again sometime. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> not with you, Vaughn. <laughs> not with you. On your night, probably. Probably on your night. Ah, I didn't even level up. Shit. <laughs> I didn't even level up. Don't, 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 no, no, Moogle, don't, no. I didn't level up. I don't deserve this good. I don't deserve that kill. I think we have to have one more cutscene. Yeah, we have to have one more cutscene, guys. Let's watch one more cutscene. We yeah, have enough cutscenes at the end of the ether. Ooh, what's gonna be at the end of the ether? What's it gonna be when it comes for you? You imply this memory belongs to another. <sighs> uh, be careful. I always am. You never know what's out there. <sighs> and he does. No point worrying about Vaughn. He marches to his own beat. <laughs> Such a blithe spirit. That he is. Right, the coast is clear. So there is caution under all that, Moxie. <laughs> Can you believe it? There's no one here but us. Are you certain? My eyes don't lie. Anyhow, I'm no coward. Huh? The bearer of the memory need not be present for it to manifest. The thing is, it's got to belong to one of us champions. Hmm. I don't get it. I surmise that Materia employs these microcosms to expand this world. It is to that end we were assembled. In other words, this place was fashioned from the memory of someone she brought here. Huh. You get all that? Hmm. That's wild! Um, yeah. Uh, it is. Imagine! The more people here, the more places to explore. Fascinating indeed. If only she had gathered everyone here. Oh, that's why Materia called so many of us at once. She must like efficiency. Huh? Wait a minute. I thought we were brought here to fight. We were, but the reasons for our assemblage are twofold. Hmm? Our memories are the catalyst by which the world expands, and the energy obtained from our clashes maintains it. And, as we're already here, we only need to think about the accumulating energy part. Okay, so our job's already half over. What? You're oversimplifying things a bit. Come on, there's more to see. Um, uh, okay. Where will we end up next? Oh. <laughs> I always wonder, what's those weird things in Onion Knight's hair? Like, Cephala has that as well. Like, they have these weird, like, dots in their hair. Like, what's that supposed to be? Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for this part. When we come back, we'll be viewing this cutscene, doing that battle, and then most likely viewing that cutscene, doing that battle, and I'll have already the, all these unlocked so we can have them up, so we have them up and ready to go! So, okay, so here's Terra, Squall, Lightning, and Zidane. And I guess from here it's going to be Noctis, Cecil, and the Warrior of Light. So, thank you all for watching! Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next part, everyone. Be safe, everyone, and have the light, uh, and may the light of the crystal be with you all.